Hello and welcome to My Man the Maker. Today we are removing this hibiscus plant from the deck. It's growing through the deck and that is allowing animals to come and go and we run the risk of having our animals escape through these holes. So I'm going to cover the holes with these pots and put plants in them. The other problem is, as you will see, is that somebody has planted this plant in the gutter and it is preventing drainage. I spent the entire morning clearing this drain. It was full to the top with bad stuff and it still got one quarter of its volume full. I just was a bit worried about pushing too much of that bad stuff down the pipe so I'm letting it roll to see how much it can drain and make sure that I don't plug up the gutter. But you'll see that this gutter is troubled. First of all it runs underneath the deck which means that it's very very hard to get to. There's an access port here. That area was four inches deep in mud and this little corner is just a mess. Well, uh, people had covered the gutter with tiles to prevent the odor from coming up instead of cleaning the gutter which is the preferred option. And then over here we have another access point. It's got to be 20 feet away and I'm running water down there right now after having cleaned it out. And it's also covered in tiles. So what you'll see when I go to the other side is that this hibiscus and the other one have been planted inside a gutter. I have no clue why anybody would have done that. So what I did on this side was I put tiles down for the moment because we don't want our animals getting out and cleaned up the gutter. Let's move these I suppose you could call them decorative rocks. And underneath is what's supposed to be a gutter. But the gutter is full of garbage. And not just leaves. The leaves can't clear. So they get in there and they rot. And when they rot, they smell. Of course. So the whole name of the game here is first I'm going to put these rocks back. Clear that gutter. And part of that work means removing this tree which has grown in the gutter. It's crazy. Luckily I can get at it from the back which is what I plan to do. But this is a very old tree. It must be 20 years old, 10 years old, it's thick as heck. So I'm gonna just cut them and uh, maybe a year from now go back and see if those roots have loosened up. So that's the project for today is to get these drains working right because the back doesn't smell so nice. And Mrs. Maker is complaining. I can't blame her. So let's go on over. It's a, it's a very pretty duck, but underneath is rotting and corruption. Bad stuff. There's also all kinds of unex inexplicable uh, electrical down there, <laughs> which we're going to have to figure out. But look at this massive distribution box. I don't know where that goes, but it's all leaving. 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 So that's, I wonder how many other people are working on our power. So that's got to get figured out. Now I've got the water running reasonably well. It was just crawling along and covered in this kind of like white caked cap. It looked a bit like a cesspool cap. So that's just no good at all. And now I've got the water free flowing. I'll probably have to snake a hose down the entire length. Eventually push a hose down to clear this. Like a like kind of like a power wash, just get the debris out of the bottom. 
but for now it seems to be working okay. The next challenge is cutting down those trees, so let's get over to that other side and take a look. Here's the other side of that drain. It was full with mud up to the lip of that second cascade and full all the way back about eight feet here and full here to the point where I didn't know where the exit was. It's right there. The water is running clear now, so that's okay, but it's still, still plenty of debris and rotted leaves that stinks to high heaven. That's all got to go. And I uh, also traced, it's full of rocks, I've traced the uh, exit point on the water, and it should be okay. But you can see the, the water dug a huge hole in that concrete. That should be um, smooth. There shouldn't be this big, big puddle. The concrete's just gone. So that might have to be filled all this bad stuff taken out and there's just green everywhere and of course always to know, nice to know that uh, poisonous rat bait is being laid in the vicinity here's some nice rat bait there always good so let's now we'll take a look under that guy nasty stuff Well, here's the other side of our fence. It's the neighbor's backyard. They've been kind enough to allow me access. So one of the things that I'm going to do is square up the top of that fence so it's nice and straight. Not this staggered staircase effect. I don't like that. The other thing I need to do is get up there and start trimming all those branches off so we get some sun in the back. It's not so damp. But today, what we're gonna talk about, oh yeah, one last thing is, there's some of that mystery electrical coming in and going to these ground lights. And there are ground lights on every single tree and artifact in this backyard, including this very creepy Lara Croft type massive Buddha head, which expats love in Asia. So there's electrical everywhere. Here's some cable. But where we want to be working today is right under here. So as you can see, we've got a gutter. It is absolutely full of who knows what. And deeper underneath, we have a secondary bigger gutter. And this gutter, I think, turns a corner or has an exit point right there that looks to be completely blocked. I, uh, I don't quite know what's going on there, but I think it shouldn't be blocked with stuff and trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this hibiscus off and put a potted plant above and work on clearing this gutter. Because Hong Kong gets an incredible amount of rain and gutters shouldn't be full of decorative rocks and plants. Now what they've done in this backyard, for reasons unbeknownst to me, it's their backyard, it's their business, is they've decided that they're going to plant decorative trees in the gutter. Why? I don't know. Up to them. And the actual storm drain is under these tiles and stuff, including a rotting board, which is obviously no good for anything. Well, they can do what they, what they like here. I'll just build up this area, square off the bamboo, make it look all nice, and they can do what they want with their backyard. It's okay by me. Totally up to them. But when it comes to the gutter, it's going to start being clear here, and it's going to continue to be clear. So here's that other really big hibiscus there. Massive. There's some low voltage wires down there and plants and rocks and all kinds of stuff. So what we'll be doing today is clearing that 
uh, a little. I think I may have to do this in two goes. And uh, mostly I just want to get this hibiscus out of the way so we can put a potted plant there. So I'm just going to set up the tripod and, and cut that tree down. to cut through that big, big tree with this little sock. This took some time and a little bit of help from Mrs. Maker. And now I'm just going to clear up a little bit of stuff here and call it a victory for cleaning underneath. I've also discovered a couple of things. i got power here, although I don't know what voltage. That's a 12 volt uh, cable coming out of the bottom there which is a bit odd. And I got all kinds of cables and wires and strings, 12 volt things down here, lighting. Now I'll straighten all that out. Clean this up and just get it to, to a point where it's no longer a haven for spiders and snakes and other nasty crawly creepy crawlies. But that's the big victory for today. Is the tree. Done. I'm very happy about that.
here's the other end of that tree we just cut. As you can see, there's not much there, and I'd rather just cover that hole with a tile and put a plant on it than uh, wait for this to branch off. It's going to take forever. It's pretty ugly. And the other tree, much smaller, but uh, I want something a little more manageable, so I went and got these guys, which are a nice contrast to the gray, and we're going to plant those in these pots here and uh, see how that works out. So that's the uh, that's the, the grand scheme: is the hibiscus goes, and we replace with these guys, which are kind of a low light plant, we think, and we'll see how that works out. I think we're only going to keep two of these. Well, we'll see. You never know. But I'm feeling a pretty uh, good sense of accomplishment. I found uh, the source of the 12 volts. There's lots of weird wiring underneath this deck. I'm going to have to get under there and clean it up soon. But for the moment, you know, I just want to straighten out what we can see and have to deal with. I have all the repair parts for this guy, so that's going to come up real soon. Just a huge rush of videos is going to come in the next couple weeks. And the drain's looking pretty good now. Running nice and clean. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll cover that up with tiles so it's not so uh, obvious. That's probably going to end up being the drain point for the washing machine anyways, which should go... Yeah, maybe I'll put it right here. But I want it to be covered, so maybe I'll put it in a bit and drop it straight down. Now you know why I needed to get rid of this tree. That's where the washing machine goes. And there's power directly below, in theory. So, if it works, I'm very lucky. We shall see. Who knows? This is a mystery house. I don't even know if it's 220 down there, but we'll find out. And there you have it. The hibiscus has been chopped down. The hole has been covered with a tile and a pot prepared for its final disposition with these attractive red-leaved plants to go in. They're going to get planted just as soon as we can uh, figure out how to fill the volume of this pot with something other than soil, which would be extremely heavy and expensive to do. And moving along to the other side, we have the same thing on the other end of the deck. So that's going to be a, a nice little setup, get up, and I'm looking forward to planting the plants and seeing how that ends up looking. But I must say I'm happy with the result. It looks good. And um, it wasn't that strenuous. It just took time and energy. It wasn't hugely difficult to do. It was just arduous to get underneath that little, uh, in that little crawl space and remove that plant uh, and then source the pot, so on and so forth. So this deck is coming together. Now I might be doing some additional um, modifications with wiring coming out from the side there because that's also where I'd like to place the washing machine once we're ready to do that. It means I have to put it in the water supply which is a bit tricky. There's nowhere to do it other than to bring it in along the wall from the other side which is quite a uh, distance. Uh, so that's going to take a little doing and the washing machine is pretty happy where it is right now hooked up to that faucet, but that's not where I want it because it's in the, the runway. It's where people would walk eventually once the deck is finalized. But for now at least these two places are, are completed. The, the uh, sort of monstrous hibiscus are gone. They, this, the one over here was easily 12-15 feet high and uh, of course that's way too big. For, that's one of the dangers of growing a plant through a deck is you know it's all cute when it's two three years old but ten years later it's huge and sometimes can even upset the deck footings and over here which is a bit more of a clear area we have the exact same thing so that's gonna end up looking pretty good I think just a question of uh, finalizing the planting but I would say 
in terms of this particular phase of this particular project, I'm done. And I have nothing left to say other than uh, that's it for now. And take care and keep making. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and leaving me a comment. I really enjoy making these videos, and I want to know from you how I can make them better. The whole point of these videos is to demonstrate that if I can do something, you can do it too. Well, that's it for now. So long, and remember, keep making.